Hi, Susan Kellner from the Ontario Pesticide Education Program and we're going to go through Chapter 13, P Transportation of Pesticides in the Grower Pesticide Safety Course Manual. And there are about 12 slides in this presentation so it'll take us just uh, under 10 minutes to review. Okay, let's get started. By the end of this lesson you should be ready to describe how to safely transport pesticides List the requirements under Regulation 6309 to transport pesticides. Describe the requirements for transporting pesticides that are classified as dangerous goods. So transporting pesticides. Everyone who transport pesti transports pesticides in Ontario must follow the federal and provincial laws and regulations regarding the safe transportation. Prepare to transport pesticides safely. Things to do. Use a truck with a steel or plastic lined bed. Prepare to deal with a spill if it happens on the road. You might want to take an extra container and some absorbent, a shovel and a, and a, a broom with you. Inspect each container. Load the containers to prevent movement. And finally, never transport pesticides in the passenger area of the vehicle. Ontario Pesticides Act and Regulation 6309 have some requirements for the transportation of pesticides. Number one, you want to secure the pesticides in the vehicle. Number two, they would be, if unsupervised in that vehicle, you have to lock the pesticides in the vehicle if you leave the vehicle unattended. If you're driving at home, no worries. Uh, just number one, secure the pesticides in the vehicle. But if it's unsupervised, put a pesticide storage sign on the vehicle if the pesticides are Class B or Class C, that's the restricted or agricultural pesticides. So those two things, if you leave the vehicle uh, when you're bringing uh, pesticides home. And keep pesticides separated from other items, uh, food and drink, household furnishings, toiletries, clothing, bedding, all those things, uh, other items, uh, they should be transported separately by themselves in the truck to get them home. Now consider the following situation. You pick up pesticides and are now on your way back to your farm. So you've got some agricultural or restricted pesticides. You stop, you need to pick up a replacement part for your sprayer. What two things must you do before you leave that truck? Okay, when you park the truck, you leave the truck, it's unattended. It's like a storage. The pesticides must be locked in that truck, in the compartment in the back, and pesticide storage sign must be on the truck. Transportation of dangerous goods, TDG. Some pesticides are classified as dangerous goods for transportation. You'll see that sign, the uh, diamond sign on the outside of the carton that holds the pesticide jugs. So it's not on the jugs, it's on the outside carton. How do you know the classification? Well, you see that diamond shape on the outside or you can look on the safety data sheet. For pesticides that are dangerous goods, you must follow transportation of dangerous goods requirements. Okay, at all times when transporting a pesticide that is a dangerous good, keep the plastic containers in the original cardboard box. It is the box that has the transportation of dangerous goods symbol and the cardboard provides the protection. Requirements for transporting dangerous goods pesticides are less than the full requirements if you stay within the limits when transporting in three situations. So there are some uh, exemptions for agricultural use. Number one, when you're transporting between the retail store and the farm and placer use, when you're transporting for use in a farm plated vehicle, and transporting tanks spray tanks that are used to mix or apply the pesticides. So those three situations we're going to go over here on the next slide. If the pesticide is a dangerous good, has one of those symbols on the cardboard box, 
One, transporting between the retail store and the farm or place of use. You need to travel a short distance. Do not go further than 100 kilometers between the retail store and your farm. Keep the weight of the load to 3,000 kilograms or less and secure the containers to prevent spills. Transporting for farm use in a farm plated vehicle. So say you're transporting between farms, you're going down the road, you're traveling a distance of 100 kilometers or less and you're keeping the weight of the load. It's less than 15 hundred kilograms and you secure the containers to prevent spills. So those are the things you have to do if you're transporting a dangerous good uh, between farms and a farm plated vehicle. Number three, transporting tanks used to mix or apply the dangerous good pesticide or pesticide solutions regulated as dangerous goods. So Put dangerous good placards on four sides of the spray tank and you leave those placards on the tank until you have it cleaned out. This is for spray tanks that hold less than 6,000 liters. So there's an exemption, you need those placards on, but uh, no other, other requirements, but you have to get the placards if you are transporting spray mix and uh, it's spray mix of a pesticide that is a dangerous good. If you transport a pesticide that is a dangerous good and do not transport it within these three described situations, then you're, you're required to do all the requirements of transportation of dangerous goods. Uh, you may want to take a transportation of dangerous goods course to find out about that. And uh, if it's a fumigant gas, um, then uh, all the TDG requirements must be followed for dangerous good uh, fumigant gas. Spills of dangerous goods. So if it's a dangerous good, you have to report spills of dangerous goods immediately if the quantity spilled during transport is greater than 200 liters for class three dangerous goods, greater than five kilograms or five liters for class 6.1 or class eight dangerous good, or greater than 25 kilograms or 25 liters for class nine dangerous good. So you would call the police, your employer, and the owner of the vehicle if you had a spill and the pesticide was a dangerous good for those quantities. Okay, that's it for transportation.